Hey there, it's Mike with Focal Point Photography doing another real estate editing video. And this one's going to be about this tricky bathroom here that I had to do. And sometimes you just, you run into unusual stuff like this that, that you have to deal with. Um, and it's not quite as easy as doing two shots or even three. So I ended up doing this one a little bit, a little bit different, a little bit tricky, but it still turned out fairly well. Not perfect by any means, but pretty well. I ended up doing four shots on site. This one was to control these light bulbs is basically just to expose these light bulbs. I just needed one in case, um, you know, I ended up using uh, an exposure for the light bulbs. The home had a lot of these modern contemporary light fixtures um, that had these bare bulbs and those can just be a pain to work with. So my second shot was a flash shot. Um, you can see bounced over here. You can see me in the window. My third shot was an ambient that I was mainly concerned about this area over here. And I took another ambient shot to give me something to work with over here. So let's put these in the right order. The dark one goes on the bottom. I will take my flash shot and that should be here. And that will be second. There's an ambient and then my really overexposed ambient there. So I start here with my flash shot over my dark shot. I will make a layer mask and I'll change the blend mode to lighten which basically just gives me that second shot. But we have an issue over here that we have to take care of. And we have to get, I have to get myself and my flash and the whole reflection, basically this whole window. So I know it's going to darken the, the window frame a little bit, but it is what it is. And it'll just have to be darkened, but that's okay because we'll be blending a little bit, some ambient stuff in here. So took myself out of that. That's really dark. I mean, that looks like it was shot at night. This was 1030 in the morning. Uh, I was pretty overcast out, but that's really dark. And that's just because the shutter speed was um, so quick. So um, here's an ambient shot. My first ambient shot. I'm going to make a layer mask and hide it. Change this my foreground to white so that I can reveal. And then I am just going to start painting in again. My flow up here is 6%. Pretty low. Okay. I want to be very, very controlled with this. And I'm just going to paint in a lot of that ambient. In fact, I'm going to paint in a ton of it. The only thing I want to keep is just a little bit of that window. So a lot of this is going to almost be that entire ambient frame like that. And that looks pretty natural. looks pretty good. The window still looks a little dark. I'm just going to do something like that. That's okay. That's completely acceptable. So, and then my last ambient is this one. Again, layer mask, hide it, white with my brush, flow at 6%. Maybe make the brush a little bit bigger and just, I'm just going to make some swipes going across here, first of all, and just kind of see it's already calming the image down quite a bit. The light bulbs, I'm probably not going to end up, end up with any of the light bulb actually turned on, and that's okay. Those are a bear to work with. So, and this is going to end up being, this wall is going to end up being a pretty dark, but that's okay. I mean, I'm trying to get the viewer to think that the only light is coming from this window. So this wall would be, you know, fairly dark compared to everything else. And this looks pretty good. Actually, I'm pretty happy with this. So how much of the flash image is actually used? Probably not a ton. There's a lot of ambient. This is almost all ambient. And just a little bit of ambient over, or sorry, a little bit of flash over here, which I knew was how I was going to edit that anyway. I knew I didn't get a, have to get a lot of flashlight over here, that I would have an ambient shot that would take care of almost all of that. I could go in even with that really overexposed one and be fine. So that's looking really good. So that's how I handled that. Um, I ended up doing, and I do this quite often when there's ambient that is going to work for one area but not for another one. So I'll take another ambient, really slow the shutter speed down um, to, to give me another ambient. So four images to put this together. It's got a nice relaxed 
magazine type of feel and that's going to be a good one to uh, go to Lightroom and and do some fi final tweaks not a lot that would have to be done with this so hopefully that helped uh, give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel um, check out my links in the description things like that I'll be doing some more editing videos in the future to help you out so uh, until I talk to you next time hope you have a great day take care bye bye